We're going to try something new this week. Uh, what I thought I would like to do is over the next few weeks I'm going to be having a chat, luckily this time in person, with my favourite runners and finding out their favourite sessions that they do during their training with, for whatever they're training for, whether it be endurance events or short distance events. So John, you probably know as my buddy who I did the ultra marathon with, who we've spoken, we've actually spoken over FaceTime before as well, haven't we, about... Uh, Running. Yeah, talking rubbish, but yeah, but about running. And I've got John here now because he's come down. Uh, we went to a Stranger Things uh, secret cinema last night. Um, and so probably I should qualify this now by the next bit you're going to see when we're on the GoPro. I have a pretty sweet moustache and I apologise for that in advance, but it was for a good purpose. It was for the 80s. Sweet 80s. Sweet 80s. So I just wanted to talk to John about his favourite sessions that he does because what are you training for at the moment? Yeah, he's trying to go on Kamala at the 128. So John in in two weeks? Yep. Two weeks John has the Trans Gran Canaria. In fact probably by the time you see this he will have done it or be doing it. So it's a 128 kilometer run with how much um, ascent? With 24, 25,000 feet ascent. <laughs> 25-ish thousand feet of ascent uh, and you're planning to run for about 16 to 18 hours-ish, like in the region. You never know what happens right. in endurance events, but you know, we're talking on your feet for 16 to 18 hours. <coughs> <laughs> so anyway, here's John's favourite session. And here's John, Hi. clearing his nose. <laughs> oh man, we've just been for a really nice, easy 10k with Winnie. John's got a big weekend ahead. I've got a big weekend ahead. Not drinking wise either, <laughs> running wise. Um, John, can you tell me what your favorite training session is, please? Um, that you do whilst you're indulging in endurance training? Any, any, any hill rep session. Um, generally, the longer the better. Yeah. It's harder the effort, the better. The sort of one that when you're sitting down at night, there's a, a delightful pain <laughs> in your legs and body when you know you've got hard. What would you suggest in terms of hill reps? Like literally stop at the bottom and then just go hard up it? It depends what you're trying to work on. We're going so right here. If, uh, if you're looking on, like to build on the germs to your... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's slow it down. For endurance, that's what I will focus For on. endurance, I would... The long this way, sorry. Uh, no. Well, uh, that's not necessarily, maybe at about 60 or 70% of your effort. Yeah. Um, and just grind it out. Yeah. That's, that's kind of my preference. And how long would you run up the hill for? Like a minute, two, three? Um, I generally set myself ascent targets. Oh, yeah. So, Paul will give me. Uh, a specific time and it can vary anything from a 30 second sprint to left here when you 10 minutes of constant effort oh okay depending on how big a hill i can find yeah yeah well something, you've got lots of hills near you yeah something that you struggle with in here yeah very much so um, so as you can see from that what i took from that john was that you don't have uh, any kind of frilly sessions where you break it down into tiny little bits and bobs do 100 meters here 100 meters there you quite like the consistency of going hard up a hill for four to ten minutes really hi i mean it, it, it can vary in terms of the intensity of the session so there is benefit in doing harder effort sessions and there's benefit in doing that kind of um easier more kind of Steady grinding steady, up the steady hill. Steady grind hills yep. that kind of keeping your heart rate relatively low and I just on it for a while. Okay, so I agree. Actually, the message I take from here is you don't have to find these frilly sessions that kind of do lots of different things. Find a hill and run up it for as many times as you want, really. I mean, that is a great session. John told me a story earlier that, that blows my mind. What was the session you did the other day? The, the hill run. Right one? The, the, you, you went out on the hill by your house. I had, I had to go and do a long run and 
time was against me, so I decided I need a scent and I need a distance. So I got a hill that was about a thousand foot in height and basically done hill reps on that for 26 miles. <laughs> <laughs> Needs must. Right. Mind, right, when you think about mindsets, like strong mindsets of athletes, then you don't need to look much further than this guy and all of the guys that he trains with. They are they are so mentally strong that John's gone and found a hill that's about a mile and did about 20, did you say 26 miles? In, it was 26 miles up and down and it was about 10 reps in total, so just over a thousand foot. One hill. He didn't go running for 26 miles out of the way, he just did a hill continuously up and down 26 miles. <laughs> so, mindset plays a lot into your training actually I think and, and you really even don't even need to go far for your runs. You can think about doing stuff like find a single hill and if you've got the mental strength to do it you just crunch it out time and time again and actually run a marathon up one hill which is almost unthinkable until you do it and then it's thinkable. I think when it comes to races as well, there's a point in time where your training takes priority. So every run that you're doing is a training run, yeah. and then there's other points in time where you can be quite far out for a race, or you can be just after a race, and you can go and run 26 glorious miles in the mountains and do a lovely loop and have a great time, and and that's almost like you're reconnecting to why it is that you run. Yeah. And that's that's one of the things as well is that you need to make sure that you don't get obsessed with training. Yeah. Because if you get obsessed with training, sometimes <coughs> you can lose that connection of why it is that you run. Why well, we all love running? It's yeah. Simply because you love running. Yeah, I agree. So there you go. You have you have the mental strength aspect. You have the no frills aspect. You you have that's your distance, but without going distance, you you've got all these options here that. I would. I am going to try at some point. I don't know when. I don't have much hills. There's not many hills around here in comparison to Glasgow, where John lives. But there you go. If you want a little boost and you're stuck for a session, then look no further and train your body and your mind as much as each other. Would be the message there, isn't it? Yeah. Make, a, a, make, make a mountain out of a hill. Make a mountain. Yeah. Make a mountain out of a hill. Amazing. And this is the start. In the next few weeks, I'm going to be trying to interview other runners and find out their favourite sessions, whether it be on the track, whether it be on hills, could be anything, and hopefully that benefits you in some way. And I'll see you Sunday. Thanks, John. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you.